All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later. For our next deck, continuing our birthday stream here, we got Mono Black Zombies. So this is a, a list that um, a viewer uh, was talking about in chat, saying they've been um, playing it and, and doing well with it um, and uh, wanted me to try it out. And so here we go. So we have... Um, you know, we have our aggressive creatures, you know, we have our zombies, right? I guess gutter bones isn't a zombie, but you know, close enough. It, we can recur it from the graveyard and it's another one drop that the deck needs. And then we have some reach with creeping chill. Whenever, if we, uh, mill over a creeping chill with the Liliana or stitcher supplier, um, we get to use it right away or, you know, we may have to cast it sometimes. Um, and Liliana's tick up can also be some reach, making the opponent lose some life, gain some life. Um, and then we have drill bits in here uh, to kind of back up our, our all of our one drops. So I, I like that. And a little bit of removal with some contempts. Looks like our sideboard has lots of removal, lots of sweepers and things like that in our sideboard. Um, so this will be this will be pretty interesting. <clears throat> Let's try it out. You're struggling with gates uh, with the Rakdos Menagerie list. Yeah, if you have like a, a real slow hand against gates, gates is just such a powerful deck. And just playing playing mid-range decks against gates, like gates can just go so far over the top. All right, I got my sushi for my birthday lunch. Thanks, Pearl. Pearl was saying that um, playing a similar list with gruesome menageries, and then yeah, like the different creatures and everything. I think with gruesome menagerie, you don't need to be mono black or just you know necessarily all um, zombie focused with it. Um, so we're playing against Esper, huh? That was honestly not that bad of a Stitcher Supplier getting rid of the three lands with us having all of these lands anyway. Thanks, Colonel Fault. We don't want to draw any more lands. So that's already eight lands gone. We're only playing 22. So we have eight out of the out of 13 cards are lands. So that's a pretty good sign for us. Thinking our opponent could just have a sweeper here. So I'm not sure if I want to play another thing onto the battlefield um, because of that. So I guess I'm just going to cast this Creeping Chill. Thoughts on reassembling Skeleton and no Ghoul and not Ghoul. Um, I like Ghoul more. I mean, one, it's a zombie, which is good. And I like the one drop. Um, skeleton... Reassembling skeleton just doesn't ever kill anybody. I can no keep up the pace. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. Death Baron gives the pump to skeletons, so it does give the pump to the other one drop also. Try to kill Teferi. All right, Teferi out of here. Hardly my worst defeat. The problem is now they get a three for one with the Kaya's Wrath, but hopefully they don't have that. <clears throat> Thanks, Cillian. All right, good. No Kaya's Wrath.
I, I have played Creeping Show before, and I have played Mono Black Zombies with Creeping Show before. Not since RNA came out, but I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised by Creeping Show, though. I remember the other time I played it. So do I want to play Gutter Bones also? And draw five? No, I think I want to be able to... I'll just have like the, the gutter bones be able to put that there. <clears throat> All right, we'll see how lucky we get. If they Kaya's Wrath and we Stitcher Supply or we mill three, if two of the three cards are Creeping Chills, our opponent's just dead. All right, well, I'm glad I didn't... <clears throat> Glad I didn't play the gutter bones now. Whoa. I just have settle the wreckage. Yeah, absorb. We still have, we still have lethal through absorb. But yeah, they just have another removal spell for death baron. Makes sense. We'll see if we got this. They have one draw. Alright, that'll keep them alive. <clears throat> I am not going to sit Whoa. this one out. We need to move quickly. They could. Yeah, they could have tucked the graveyard marshal and stayed alive. Alright, we got game one against Esper. At least I assume we got game one. It was a kind of a clutch. <clears throat> um, oh, so why, why not just play the other Graveyard Marshal because they have Thought Erasure? Because it's still, like, you know, they have to spend the mana on Thought Erasure and... and uh, I did not mind them spending mana on a Thought Erasure that turn with where we were. That was a pretty greedy tick up by Teferi. If they went to Fairy Minus, they would have been able to stay alive for a turn. Or then be able to, like, to Fairy take up the next turn or, or something. So now we have a bunch of duresses to, to add in with the, the drill bits. Um, if we play Menagerie, Banner, Spyglass, play all that, I guess I am. Maybe I'm getting rid of Creeping Chill. I like the reach that Creeping Chill gives, though. But I, I guess we're cutting it because we're playing all these other cards, and I, I want to keep my creature count high and everything. Thanks, Chris.
Um, and then, what about Contempt? Do we need Contempt? I could see them having Lyra. Yeah, they could, they could definitely just be playing Lyra here. Maybe we play Reborn. Hmm. We've got two suppliers. And I'm actually, maybe I don't want to play Menagerie. I just, I don't think Menagerie fits too well here. And I'm going to play the one Reborn. I'm going to go like this. Hey, Boop. Yeah, birthday stream. Um, thanks, Vet. Um, we have supplier because it's a it's a zombie. Um, it's a one drop. It can mill over some creeping chills or just a bunch of creatures for graveyard marshal or for. Um, for Graveyard Marshal or for uh, Liliana. Yep, it's birthday today. We'll have duress next turn. Is it chemis Chemister's Insight? <clears throat> There's not like an obvious take here. There's nothing that like necessarily deals with Liliana right away. I guess Teferi tucks Liliana. All right, I'll take Teferi. They have, they have one blue. All right, Liliana, start doing your thing. All right, and tick up. I do what needs. Don't get squeamish. Mill three. All right, we got a zombie, so it drains for two. We got the Midnight Reaper. That's a good zombie to hit. So we can cast zombie cards from the graveyard. With the minus three ability. All right, so let's... Mill here.
Witness my power! I don't know, Open the Graves is just, is like, you know, pretty expensive enchantment. Not told it's, it's real good. I value moral... Flexibility. All right, Liliana drains him. <laughs> they have a negate. Sure. All right, they're down to five. Yeah, I think it's like five mana. With all these mortifies running around and stuff. That's not good for the opponent. <laughs> Wait till you see what uh, I've got. Did not get a zombie. You. So an option there was um, was minus threeing Liliana and going minus three Liliana and getting uh, getting the Death Baron and be able to attack them for lethal. But that's a pretty risky line if they just had a, an instant speed removal spell, you know, a Mortify or a Cast Down or or a moment of craving, anything like that to kill the Death Baron. Then it's not lethal anymore, and then my Liliana was dead. Um, and so that was that was pretty risky. I have mastered death. Alright, playing the Midnight Reaper first. But here's Death Baron. And pump those pump these things up. There we go. Zombies. Taking it down. Oh, yep, Skull Divine, thanks. Yeah, here all day today. Almost almost on three hours. Been here since 11 a.m. Eastern. Liliana was really good for us that game. You know, uh, Liliana dealt four damage, plus cast a Midnight Reaper and a, like earlier cast the Midnight Reaper and the Diagraph Ghoul, and then on the last turn brought a Midnight Reaper and a Death Baron back into play. So Liliana did a whole lot for us. Shock. So it looks like maybe Drake's. I mean, I guess it's just mono red. Yeah, it's just mono red. So Liliana does the number of zombies you control for the minus two. I 
I kind of wish it was the number of zombies in your graveyard, honestly. Oh yeah, definitely excited about War of the Spark. Always excited about new sets. Um, you know, new magic cards is always great. DNC. Alright, again, out aggroed. So, God's okay, turn to more of a control deck here. Cast downs, moment of cravings, um, ritual of sets. I don't think I want scriptures. I think scriptures is a little slow. Um, I'm going to take out drill bit, because us dealing damage to them isn't necessarily a guarantee. We can play some duress. I'm um, gonna take out Stitcher Supplier. Doesn't match up against anything. And one Liliana. Oh no, I, I don't. I don't think so, Ranger. Maybe. I may have seen that a long time ago, if that's a kind of an old trailer. I feel like I may have seen that like a year ago. Because that sounds familiar. Alright, you have a deck idea. Blue, red, uh, one drops. Um, Terramander, light up the stage, Storm Tamer, Curious Obsession. That's no, not really too ambitious with mana base wise. That could maybe work. All right, we got a couple of creeping chills in hand, which could be good. Moment of craving can gain some life, also. Just <clears throat> hope we don't get run over by too many creatures. I hope the opponent has a lot of spells and not as many creatures. I don't really want a moment of craving the lava runner. Because then if, if I do that, then they play Steamkin, then I'm really sad. So I want to wait to see if they have Steamkin for a moment of craving. Does not look like they have Steamkin. Well, maybe they do. You're welcome. Honestly, not a bot. Had that sushi craving. <clears throat> I'd really like to draw a removal spell for Chain Whirler. Really would. Wow. It's another strong hand, though, for the opponent. Turn one Lava Runner. Turn two, Lava Runner plus Shock. Turn three, Chain Whirler. Turn four, Pyromancer, Light Up the Stage, and Skewer. Creeping Chills aren't going to save us against the creatures. They they did have the creature heavy draw, so I was, I was hoping they wouldn't. Ugh. 
and we didn't draw anything but lands. After keeping our seven, didn't draw a non-land. All right, let's not face mono red. I don't like that mono red matchup. Think about these these black aggro decks. They're just not they're just not as fast as red. Um. So the, the red matches are tough. Why did I keep this six? I should have just gone to five. I saw like land one drop, but that's three four mana cards. Cool, thanks, Fett. Oh, why did I just play Death Baron first? Sorry, I was... Well, we lost out, lost out on one point of damage there. Question and mono zombies versus red. Does the reach just make all the difference? Yeah, the, the burn spells that that mono red has is really nice. Like, they're, they're efficient. They have just a bunch of one mana spells that, you know, like we saw there were shocks and skewer the critics that either um that one person's trash that either kill the creatures or kill the opponent army. so they get to play a lot of removal like that i don't have nearly as much removal so i don't i don't have like efficient ways to kill um steamkin and chain whirler and stuff like that as we saw into the grave with you All right, now I get to drill bit them and see if they have a settle. All right, no settle. We're doing good against control. Thanks, Optimus. Okay, mono red, so the thing is, is against control, though, black can be better than red because you have, like, some more card advantage with black. And so it's easier to, to like, have a, a deck, a control deck that's, like, specifically built to beat mono red than mono black. You have more more interaction for, like, control decks with, like, the discard and, and everything. But, yeah, in, ag in aggro mirrors, though... Um, Uh, it's tough. It's tough for black to beat red. That's a good question. What you, where is he at? He's over there. Um, Hawkeye got me that balloon. That's what Hawkeye got me. Hawkeye got me that balloon for my birthday. And the hat. The balloon and the hat. Um, so last time I took out two suppliers. This is what I did last time against Control. I think I liked it, so. Thanks, Narinen. Yeah, Drill Bit is great. Drill Bit and Gutter Bones are two really good additions to Mono Black. Yeah, that's a good that's a good call. Could have like yeah, Sovereign's Thirst or yeah, like the the two mana drain you know basically two mana creeping chill for the for the bottle red matchup. That certainly helps. Hey, the Schmidt or the the Schmidt. Or maybe Schmidt. The Schmidt. Happy birthday, Todd. I really enjoy your stream. Hope you have a good one. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we have another donation from Optimus Fine, also! The $7 donation for the happy birthday. Getting some hype emotes in. For our subscribers there. Thank you so much.
Creeping Chill just kind of gives the deck some reach that you don't need the creatures to finish off the games. You'd be surprised how much four map fountain craving in for phylactery lich stops mono red dead. Yeah, those all sound like pretty good, especially if you can reliably, reliably have lich on the battlefield against red. Um, yeah, lich has got to be really good against red. Thanks, Lacroix. Uh, Deckmaster doesn't recognize this duress, this, the new duress. Makes sense. It didn't recognize the the new Llanowar Elf for a while. So I guess the the one person that makes Deckmaster, he's got to program in this duress. Hey, Bobby, with the sub for the second month, saying you are a rock star. Thanks, Bobby. You're a rock star. Thanks for that sub. Hey, thanks, thanks to Cheer Zexion. Yeah, Sovereign's Bite is the same thing, but cheaper. But we do have we do have a, a decent amount of self mill where we have times. Um, where's my Cheer emote? There we go. Where we have times that we can just be able to mill over. Um, so this is at nine and forty two, where we can just mill over. Creeping Chill with Liliana or Stitcher Supplier. Um, all right, so our opponent just didn't cast Revitalize last turn. That's kind of weird. Uh, I, I don't have any plans for after the stream. No, just uh, just doing this all day. Um, I am. I do have cake plans, though. Yeah, we will have some cake later. I just had my birthday lunch with um, with a sushi there, and yeah, I'll get. I do have some cake to eat later. All right. Good job, Duress, taking the Deafening Clarion, and then opponent couldn't handle it from there. Two and one, two zero against Control, zero and one against Mono Red. Yeah, I'll, I'll be bringing this, the cake out on stream. <laughs> For now, though, we just have we just have Hawkeye back there, giving himself a bath. Oh, historic chess guy is ready to go up on YouTube. I need to start putting that up. Historic chess guy. Uh, MTG standard February 18th 2019 six lands out of our 22 I think this is gonna be a mulligan all right lasso one drops All right, I'm working on the YouTube channel here for just a second, getting this stuff ready to upload. All right, I gotta make a thumbnail also. Alright, looks like Bant, it's probably, you know, Bant Nexus. I think I'm going to wait to turn on Drill Bit. I think I just want to get these creatures in play. I don't think I need a Drill Bit right away. Oh, they had a Quench. I got the right card quenched. Alright, yeah, you're thinking Bant Nexus? 
Um, do I Death Baron here? No, I think it's a drill bit time. Whoa, so many subs! 20 sub gifts from Burtley Man? Oh man. Santa Burtley Man. Everybody, get get your favorite emotes in the chat, even if you're not a sub. Santa Burley Man, bring in some hype. Wow. Um. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Burley Man. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. You are so kind. Um, oh, half a slice of cake for every sub? I, I don't know if I can do that. Taking Frilled Mystic. So, even though like Death Baron is, is kind of a better card to play here, I just I wanted to make sure to cast a drill bit before my opponent could uh, Wilderness Reclamation. That's what I, I wanted to do. All right, so wait, so this is we're at twenty nine now out of thirty. So that's uh, four sub goals. So we are going to be getting four packs after this, and that gets us down to 22. So if you're enjoying the stream and want to join in on all of this hype, um, consider hitting that sub button as well. You'll be the 30th now sub of the day. All right, if 100 subs today, eat the entire cake. I could try. I could, I could try. Do another 12 hour stream tomorrow. Just to make it 24 hours. Yeah, you don't have the spare cash draw, then of course don't, you don't need a sub, of course, for that. But I'm glad you're here, draw. Drawzik. Um... All right, so they're playing Simic Nexus. So let's get Duresses in. Um, Spyglass for Ascanta. We don't need Contempt. I like Cast Down more than Contempt. I, I certainly could see them playing uh, Biogenic Ooze, which I think I want some Cast Downs for that. Maybe not. Maybe I just go no removal and just keep the Creeping Chills and just try to, to finish them off with these. Or if we just do this. Yeah, maybe we don't need removal. Death Baron can give Death Touch. I kind of like just doing this. I don't think we need Banner um, or anything. Let's let's go here. The big question is, should I have Spyglass for Ascanta? And uh, I'll just say no. Let's just try to, try to go. <clears throat> <laughs> What's my age again? Hey, Gatsby's giving out some subs as well. So congratulations to those new subscribers. So, yeah, who all do we have here? So we have Nutella Banana, X Charges, Encyclobell, Side Mage, uh, Welton, Ashmorn, Born Reaper, Vaclin, Edge Master, Fekor. The bad guys, Malukas, Alan Holanda, Synthraz, Old Drog, uh, PC Marazina, MTE 8200, Flexiglass, Unholy Shade, Octral, Azel, Nefer, Grab, King Ripon, and Far Bad.
Thank you so much. Uh, Santa Bertley Man and also Santa Gatsby. Hmm. I can certainly see the uh, what's the the four four man three two frilled mystic. Definitely kind of seems like a frilled mystic time. Let's just double spell with another Graveyard Marshal Diagraph Ghoul. Thanks, cutie pie. All right, so that makes this. This is sitting at 16. Oh, Gatsby donated another sub to Electro... Uh, Domestico. Electro Domestico makes it 35 on the day. So that's six. Six packs we got to get after this. I already ate all my sushi, though. That is a good idea of eating, it, eating the piece of sushi every time somebody subscribes, but I, I already ate all my sushi. It did have the frilled mystic. Called it. Graveyard Marshal can make more uh, zombies for us. And I could see my opponent playing Settle since they're playing Bands. <laughs> yeah, I do have the party hat on. Yeah, Hawkeye got me the party hat and the balloon back there. He is, Hawkeye is back here. You can see him right back here. Poking him right now. He's just laying, laying down back there. Where's my Hawkeye laying down? A sleepy mode. There we go. Um. Phone stopped out. All right, we'll see how many fogs they have. We want to be, we want to draw our duresses and drill bits here. We got, so we have seven discard spells. Those are the cards that we want to draw at this point. Hey, speak of the duress. That's some birthday sub luck right there. lethal right three six eight yeah okay go into a game three no we won game one never mind we're great that's a, just a victory mech mania mech mech uh mechanism mech mechanism with the sub also thank you so much thank you so much mech Oh, it is certainly pack time. It is certainly pack time. All right, so we have six packs to, to get here. I guess if I go pack by pack, that's like most of my gold. So let's get a couple three packs. So we'll get a, a three pack of rivals. And we get to use all these gems that we've been winning. Um... Ah, your prime just refreshed. Great timing. Yeah, perfect timing. And a three pack, of course, at 2019. So we're at 15 here. Uh, 36. I'm, I'm doing these because these are the, the sets I have the least of uh, currently, so that's why I'm doing these too. 
All right, time to open up a bunch of packs. All right, let's do let's do rivals first. See if we get any storm of the vaults. Yeah, the two Ravnica sets, I, I already have like all the cards from the two Ravnica sets. So we're getting some of these other ones. Twilight Prophet? Awesome. Where I'm at with my collection right now, opening Mythics is the best things for me to open, really. So any Mythic I like um, because of like how like the fifth card thing happens. It's just I, you know, I'm, I'm going through the rares and all the sets pretty quickly. So... Any mythic is good. Uh, right now, I have 26 rare wild cards and 14 mythic rare wild cards. So we're getting close, you know. So next set, like we're already going to be able to like have a lot of the cards in the next set. Let's see if we get more mythics or storm the vault. Tomb robber. And. Bishop of Binding. Okay, what do we got from Corset 2019? We got some Mythics. Fraying Omnipotence. 3 BB, each player loses half of their life, then discards half of the cards in their hand, then sacrifices half of the creatures they control. One well, that art is awesome. I don't know exactly how we would make that card work but that art is awesome uh what's my favorite color deck probably green white i really like green white decks yeah it's big pox big pox all right a detection tower useful card and yeah any good orzov or esper angel or abzan angels Ah, Infernal Reckoning. Um, you can... Uh, you can just check out, check out like the decks there, like my, my stream decker, for some options. We've, we've done pretty good with, with Orzov. Um, Orzov Angels. This is like an Orzov mid-range, which is basically Angels. It's got Resplendent, Seraph, and Lyra. Done pretty well with that this deck. Um, yeah, you can check out some answers there. Oh, Infernal Reckoning, the Bane of Gate Colossus. Ooh, I wonder if Infernal Reckoning has a place in the metagame. Get rid of Gate Colossus. This is a dashboard by Modest Mouse. So thanks, thanks, Gatsby and Burly Man. Thank you so much. Um, so you may have noticed with my, my 12 hour sub goal, like yesterday, you know, we were in like 90 away, like hundred to 90. And so like I, I was doing there for like the last, uh, week or two of, um, you know, doing it like a 12 hour stream every 100. Cause that's like the new emote. But then I realized it's just really hard to gain a hundred subscribers and it takes a really long time. Um, because of, you know, like how subs drop off, gain subs and everything. Um, like I have, I have 700 right now, 735 right now. So gaining a hundred is just, you know, it's just a ton. So I'm changing that to be 50. So I, that's why I changed it to be 50 today and, and we're up. To, so every 50 subs that I go up, we'll do a 12 hour stream. So we're doing a, a 12 hour stream for every... For every 50 subscribers that we go up, and of course the 500 YouTube followers as well. Um, but doing a 12 hour stream for either of those. Um, yep, Historic lost both times to, uh, to Gates. Gates got us twice. I'm double spelling with the suppliers over playing Graveyard Marshal because Death Baron will give them Death Touch. So basically new sub ZTD, it's just like whenever whenever my total sub count goes up from each each fifty. 
strongest mid-range deck besides Sultai. Uh, Gates, if Gates counts as a mid-range deck, I think that's the the strongest one. Please attack with Wild Walker. Dang. Didn't attack. Let's take that Midnight Reaper. I know they can contempt the Death Baron, but I have a, I have a backup. Um, I'm bringing in Vanquisher's Banner against like the decks with a lot of sweepers, I guess, like Esper Control, bringing it in there. Oh, they don't even have double black anyway. Well, now they do. So we need Liliana. Uh, we did mill over one Liliana already, unfortunately. But Liliana is the card that can uh, help get us out of this. Oh yeah, I, I was making a historic chess guy. Gotta make this thumbnail almost done. All right, so they contempted one Death Baron, so we got another. Some thumbnail. Usually, your aggro deck doesn't get through a Wild wow Growth Walker with six counters on it. You know, turn two Wild wow Growth Walker, turn three Jade Light, turn four Jade Light with having no removal. Usually, don't win, but we're trying. Them having another Wild Growth Walker and another Jade Light? Are you kidding me? I just messed up. Alright, where's Jess Guy? There you are. And they're keeping the other Wow Growth Walker. Oh, I should attack with Gutter Bones also. Yeah, I should attack with Gutter Bones too. All right, that one's that one is up. Um, that's game. We had a chance there before that finality, honestly. We weren't dead, but finality certainly killed us. All right, scriptures, soot. I 
I may need the banner here for like the the card draw and everything in this matchup. We bring in all those. We cut creeping chill. And a supplier. Hmm. Do I want cast down? What do you think are tier one decks in Allegiant Standard? Um, Sultai, Mono Blue, Esper. So the three, the three biggest that come to mind. Supplier also just puts a lot of creatures in our graveyard to help Graveyard Marshal and to help Liliana, how we can get a cast like the zombies and everything. So it does those things as well. Those are the things that Supplier does. And then, of course, Creeping Chill. I don't think Esper Midrange is, is close. Simic, yeah, Simic Nexus. That's a good one. I don't I don't think Esper Midrange is very good. And Red Deck wins. I don't think it's very good either. I like Drill Bit. Like, their deck is just filled with really important cards that, like, that, like, cards that, like, generate tons of card advantage. Um... So I, I certainly think the drill bit is good. All right, and I'll save save Graveyard Marshal um, because I, I don't want to like if they play like a Jade Light here that's a three two for example, I don't want to trade with Graveyard Marshal uh, for the for the Jade Light Ranger. I'd rather trade with the Dire Graph Ghoul. Golgari Guildgate. Can't don't have contempt up this turn. Attacking here, so that the, then they take six, so they're down to six, and then I play double graveyard marshal. When this creature dies, return it to its owner's hand. Draw a card. So they draw a jade light and another card. Well, they're not winning a long game, obviously. So if they want to play Jade Light Ranger this next turn, no big deal. All right, make them jump block here.
try to kill them. Hope hope they don't have Wild Growth Walker to go along with that Jade Light. Yeah, Pestilent Spirit doesn't doesn't go well with this with this uh, Death Touch deck. No, um, we we're playing a Rakdos Burn deck uh, before that had um, Pestilent Spirit in it. You, you need a lot of burn spells to make Pestilent Spirit work. I think that was... I think I played that game pretty well. I think that was... I think a lot of people would have just like not attacked with the Graveyard Marshal. Or maybe not used the, the cast down when they used the Rebirth. Um, I think we did a good job of, of pushing through maximum damage there early. GG's. It's the only deck that's a good matchup against blue and soul tie. For Esper mid range? Maybe. No, every time I see Esper midrange, I just see it lose. So, so I'm probably underrating it, but it just doesn't look like a very good deck. Um, I mean, I do like Contempt. We're only 22 lands, so like there's only 17 more, so we're probably drawing a, a good amount of spells, and we're on the draw. I kind of want to just keep this. This is a tough keep. This hand, the floor of this hand is, you know, extremely low. We could, we could not do anything. Um, so we'll see. I don't really like drawing the cast down with having two, two of my four removal spells. Like, there's only four removal spells in the deck. We already have two in our hand. We draw, drew a third. Bloodfast. All right, come on, Liliana. 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 All right, I think our opponent has cast down. I think if they don't have cast down, they just um, activate Bloodfast. And... Like, they would just activate Bloodfast and look for a land if they don't have cast down. So I certainly think they have cast down. Um, so... If they have cast down, do I want to throw Death Baron in front of it? I guess so. If I play Death Baron here, they cast down it. They still they take six. Like other option is just attack with both of these. They kill one graveyard marshal. And they take three. Oh wow. No cast down? Are they just activating Bloodfast? Wow, they just passed. G G. I guess I could cast down that and make them lose another life, but whatever. All right, mono black zombies. Four and one. Is that final boss time? Final boss time. All right, time to get in the zone. Ooh, I like it. Can we draw a third land, please? 
Oh, don't be mono white aggro. Oh no. We saw that with with mono red. Um, mono white aggro is also just another tough matchup for us, like the other aggro decks. I do like having Death Baron though. Um, yeah, if they don't have removal, Death Baron is going to be pretty good for us, given our creatures Death Touch and everything. <laughs> you would have said O2 with this deck. And it, it could have done O2. We, we've gotten pretty fortunate. Um, we have done, we did really good against control decks though. You know, we went 3-0 against control decks. Like if you count Bant, as like a Bant Nexus control as well. All right, don't have, rem no removal, no removal. Lame. Lucky for them, I drew another Death Baron. Well, I mean, lucky for us, really, not for them, but. Why are they not attacking with Hunted Witness? Like, why would you not attack with the Hunted Witness there? Is there a reason? Do you not want to trade your Hunted Witness for a Diagraph Ghoul? And you still get a token? Oh, come on. At least that thing I can Contempt. I didn't notice at first that that turned on the Snubhorn sentries. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, they had a bunch of removal. So the problem is, we can survive this. The problem is, the these Midnight Reapers. Oh right, Death Baron does not have Death Touch either. So the Snubhorn stays alive. Uh, what would you put in your sideboard with Sultai against Mono Blue? I would put in Kral Harpooners. Uh, I would put in lots and lots of Kral Harpooners. Alright, so here comes all of our sweepers. Two scriptures, two soot. Gonna take Drill Bit out. Take chill out like always. It's just something to take out. Um, keeping in supplier uh, because supplier works really well with Death Baron. It's the Lilianas I'm not exactly sold on, and the Midnight Reapers I'm not exactly sold on all of these. But I don't know if we have better things to bring in. I could see like maybe playing a couple duress and maybe like two duress over one Midnight Reaper, one Liliana. I feel like Liliana is going to be a lot better here with having like soot and scriptures, though. We have one duress over a midnight reaper. We need some removal deck. I like these three cards, but we need removal. 
Alright, not a bad mill. Don't necessarily want to draw any of those cards. Oh, I should have just—I should attack there for four. I don't have to sit back and play defense here. Not against double snub this early. I should just attack for four there. Interesting. Great draw. Perfect draw. They had to have Conclave Tribunal. I hope they don't have it. Oh, I mean, Deputy Detention, I guess, also. So they either one. Take out Scriptures. Uh, that's probably not good for me. That's probably telling me that they have a Deputy. Oh, they have a Tribunal. Ugh, <sighs> dang. So, next turn we're going to have a good turn. Just no more removal, please. Okay, thank you. Wait. No, now the deputy's a 2-4, so my, my Liliana will not kill... My Liliana does not kill Deputy anymore. Hmm. So I didn't have I didn't have four creatures. Seriously? Man. It's messed up. Like, they can't play very many removal spells, right? And they just had two removal spells both games. And then Lexadon with all this stuff. Like, come on. Yeah, it's pretty good against Death Touch. Also. Final boss is tough, yeah. It's not... It's not uh, final boss for nothing. It is tough. So, four and two. Hey, got we got a Jace. Figured out. We got a Jace, though. All right, so Mono Black Zombies did pretty good, you know. Um, certainly struggled with the aggro decks, but you know, like that last draw that the Mono White had was really, really good. You know, we even had like the Phyrexian Scriptures, um, but we saw the problem with Phyrexian Scriptures how slow it was. Uh, you know, that that um, being that slow is is certainly a problem. Yeah, we've got a, a new mythic, so that's good. Yeah, real good open there. Um, so maybe one a little more like Eldritch Reborn isn't a necessary card, I don't think. Um, same with kind of same with Menagerie and Banner. I don't, I don't even know if you need these cards. Honestly, it didn't seem like we need them against the control decks too much. Maybe you just have even more against aggro for for these three slots. Um, 
Which I don't know exactly what you do there. Like, maybe some more cast downs. Uh, that can kill bigger steamkins and chain whirlers and deputy detentions and everything like that. Um, you can play Sovereign's Bites. Also. But. There we go. Mono Black Zombies. It's a, it a good run. Thanks, Crimson Run. Good run there. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and that's it for Mono Black Zombies. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.